Hello, hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to another short episode of Unapologetically Abundant Podcast. I feel like these short, small episodes are really the perfect place to come back, get realigned, get reignited, get your life activated again so you can feel truly supported, so you can feel really ignited in your dreams. And you know, talking about dreams, I so very often see in my clients and the women that I get to work with that so very often they're afraid to dream bigger because they don't want to hurt someone. They don't want to be judged. They don't want to fail. They don't know if they have everything it takes to truly do that. And after hosting our beautiful three-day mastermind here in Tulum, I absolutely saw how important it is to believe and trust in our dreams and in our desires and who we really came here to be because when we are growing up so very often we are like being cupped at what is possible and where can we go because we see our parents how far they got what did they do what was possible for them our teachers we feel like there is a limit and we are trying to stay grounded and stay in our place so I'm really inviting you to rethink that and to truly trust that if you do have a desire on your heart, it was put there for a reason. You know, I truly believe that our desires, our dreams are our intuition whispering to us when we can really tune in and listen and feel into it and look into it. What would our dream or life be on our wildest dreams really look like and feel like? We're connecting to it. When we write it down, we are bringing the non-physical into the physical. And it's so important and it's your responsibility and it's your duty to keep these dreams alive. Because I personally believe that each and every one of us has a different message, different medicine, a different way how we can shift this world into even a better place, even a richer place. And we are meant to do it from our desires, from the desires that are on our heart. So really tap into that and ask yourself, what would my life beyond my wildest dreams be like, look like? And Again, we could go into the human design and say there is a specific and non-specific, you know, manifester that I teach my clients, you know, how to manifest through that. However, for you just really feel into it, what would your dream look like when you wake up in the morning? Like, how are you feeling? What are you like sensing on your body, in your environment? Are you alone? Are you with others? You don't have to be concrete, specific. Just tap into that feeling and see it and feel it. Because I know that how am I living right now my life? That was one time just a dream to be in loving, loyal, respectful, supportive relationship, to heal my eating disorder, to heal my thyroid Hashimoto, to heal my body from, you know, miscarriages. It's so beautiful when we can pause and come into the moment and say, wow, what I once wished I have it now, what I once prayed for, I'm living it. You get to appreciate and see where you truly are and also allow yourself to dream bigger to go bigger to to taste it even more expand it even more it is here for you and for a reason so let me know my love if there would be no limitation no judgment no boxing into what you can and cannot do what would you be doing who would you be how would you be living like whose permission are you waiting for to live that way? What is the essence of your dream life? How can you bring in the essence into your life right now? After I have hosted countless retreats and mastermind and workshops and one-on-one -on -one VIP experiences with my clients, I know how crucial it is that we keep these dreams alive when we can bring them forth and then create a flow. How am I going to bring them to life? It's first into believing it's possible for you, tapping into your intuition and putting yourself into environments and places that you can truly be safe and feel seen and heard and loved. 
if being in a safe space and environment, something that's important to you, please DM me whenever you're listening to this. I always have VIP experiences that I guide my clients one-on-one. I'm also co-hosting a retreat here in Tulum on October 20th for three days with my beautiful client to tap into that sensuality, to tap into that safety of our body, the womb, the power, the flow. That's where your dreams are created, in your womb. It's not your head. Your head is usually telling you, you cannot do it. You cannot go there. You cannot. Your womb knows. Your womb takes you. Your womb empowers you. And that's what I truly want and desire for you to feel empowered, to be in your sensuality, to be in your freedom, to be in your self-expression. So whether you are listening to this as we are launching it and you can still have space to connect with me and come to our retreat, or maybe you will come to the next one that I'm hosting in Bali, let me know. But I truly feel like we get to keep our desires and dreams alive. That's why we came here. So remember my love, keep them alive. And remember, I love you, I see you, and I receive you.